Hello students, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be working on the song Crown Him with Many Crowns. Um, this is our church music class. If you guys are interested in joining, we're doing this class every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So what we're going to do is um, add some ornaments uh, to this piece. Uh, basically ornaments means that we're going to add some grace notes, some different things to kind of spice up the piece a little bit. We're also going to play it an octave higher um, and then also just... Uh, Hopefully give you guys some tips about technique. <clears throat> okay, so um, biggest thing we want to make sure that we're, um, to start um, the process, let's make sure that our violin's in tune. So here's my A. Great. And uh, this particular piece is in the key of E. So some of you guys maybe have never played in the key of E, so I just want to make sure to point that out and help you guys understand what, what that means. So basically playing in the key of E um, is going to consist of uh, four sharps. So um, the sharps, the order of sharps is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and then the last one, which is going to be the trickiest to, to know because it's least common is the D sharp. And you will see some D sharps in here. So yeah, there's a lot of notes that are going to be higher than normal. And uh, this is a really good piece if you've never played in the key of E to, to get used to. So let's start off by playing the E major scale. It starts off with first finger on the D string. And we have F sharp. G sharp high three. Fourth finger right next to the three. First finger on A. Second finger C sharp. Here comes your D sharp. And then four right next to it. So same layout of fingers on both the D and the A string. If we keep going up, we could. Um, you're going to have to know how to play um, up into position. Could do this all in third with a finger stretch. Here's your D sharp. Finger stretch four for the E. Okay, so um, hopefully you guys were able to do that to warm up. Uh, now let's go through the song. I'll play through it once without any sort of ornamentation, just kind of basic um, how to play it. And there's one note in there that's kind of tricky um, outside of the key signature. There's an A sharp in the key. So um, for those of you guys that don't know, I've never played an A sharp. It um, actually ends up in two different spots, the spots I'm circling right there. So that's actually going to be a high fourth finger on the D string. You could technically play it as a low one, but I like to teach students to do that as a high four. All right, let's do it together. like that. Okay, so if that seemed pretty easy, that um, would be a warm-up, and then let's try to put some stuff in here to make it sound even better. So my suggestion would be to do some improvisation, some additional notes and rhythms in different spots. Um, so I'll show you kind of maybe where I put my first one, uh, but this is all up to the interpretation of the musician. It's all variable, so don't feel like you have to do exactly what I suggest. But let's say you play it again. The second verse would be maybe... That maybe. So do an, a D sharp in there, actually. High three. 
and then go back to actually I'm gonna give it a different color here. Make that point out a little easier. So see I got D sharp right there back to a C sharp. Kind of play those notes quickly. Slur those together, that'd be good. So use a fourth finger here. Right there, so we could do fourth finger there, followed by a G sharp. Whoops. So those are going to be two grace notes right there. All right, let's do. What we, uh, let's play what we have so far. note right there so right here you could play an E right before you play the D sharp slow this together ah sorry you guys know that that happens sometimes on my computer <laughs> so second line so there's another spot you could do it this would be D sharp back to C sharp. So you got to slur all those together. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Let's do a slide here. Sometimes slides are, are appropriate in classical music, not as much as fiddle, but sometimes. So. so basically with a slide there, I'm taking my second finger starting off where I play a low two and then slide it up into a high two. Vibratoing it. Let me do something like that. So that would be D sharp. E. Grace note there. Slur those together. Maybe here, I would maybe shift. Otherwise, you're doing that, maybe. Which is awkward in first. Maybe shift to third. Shift. So shift on the D sharp right here in the third position. For those of you guys that don't know third position, avoid doing this. So you basically would do um, an E right after that to an F sharp, back to the E in third position. So you'd have a two here, three back to the two. All right, so third line, shift, back to first, maybe do that, what I just did there, so it would be uh, two notes right there, it's kind of hard to fit in there, right there. Right here, go back to first. Like that. And then, yeah, the ending. That's fine. Okay. All right, let's play through with the uh, additional grace notes and different things I did in there.
said at the end. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, now let's do an active hire. And um, yesterday I kind of taught students how to do um, an active hire based on understanding letters of notes. Um, another way to do it for those that are maybe a little bit more advanced is actually, I think, an easier way in, in a way, depending on how much theory you have in your head, um, would be just to play this entire thing up, way up in fifth position, um, to where you can just put down the same fingerings, but then it's technically an active hire. So instead of it be... So right now I'm putting my first finger on the A string for the E. It's technically fourth position. And then high three. This is like I would be playing it in first position. Over the E string. Go, you could go up in six. That was a ninth. <laughs> so that's an active hire for those that maybe have some familiarity with, with uh, shifting in positions. All right. Um, raise your hand if that makes sense, uh, how to play an active hire just being up higher in position. For those that are a little more advanced. <laughs> if you're not getting that, that's understandable. That's a little bit more advanced. Okay, great. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the class. So I highly recommend checking checking out my website. Um, you guys can sign up for any webinars on the site as well as uh, check out these lessons that are done after we air them. Um, we should have the music on the site to the right of the video. So check that out. And hope you enjoyed the class. Let me know if you have any questions, post in the forums, or email me at michael at superiorviolence.com. Have a great day.